What's up guys, it's Jordan from LaundromatResource.com and I am super excited that you're here today because today I'm gonna try to convince you that laundromats are one of the best, if not the best investment that you can make out there. And I know what you're thinking. Jordan, that's some lofty claims you got there and you're probably pretty skeptical and I don't blame you. But if by the end of this episode, you're not convinced by the 10 reasons I give you that laundromats can be one of the best, if not the best investment out there, then I don't, maybe laundromats just aren't for you and that's okay. <laughs> but I have 10 very compelling reasons and I think it's only gonna take one or two until you get on board, but let's go through those 10 real quick right now. Number one reason why laundromats may be the best investment out there is all about the money. Now, of course, you make an investment because you want to make money. And when you buy real estate, for example, uh, if you buy it right, hopefully you can make around 6 to 12% on your money, cash on cash return, leveraged after getting a loan. You can hopefully make around 6 to 12%. And that's pretty good. And especially you get on that higher end of that 12%, that's pretty good. Laundromats, on the other hand, are valued differently than real estate. And because of that, you can make unleveraged without using any loans. If you just bought it with cash, you can make 20 to 30% on your money from the get go day one without doing anything different than whatever the previous owner was doing. 20 to 30%. That's incredible, especially for something that you can do on the side if you want to do it. That is incredible. And in fact, if that doesn't convince you right away, that laundromats may be one of the best investments out there, then I'm not sure the next nine are really gonna convince you because 20%, 30% on your money is unheard of, especially right now in this economy where everything's booming and everybody's looking for cash flow. Laundromats are a cash flow business. That's what they're all about. So number one reason, one of the most compelling obviously, but it just compounds from there and why it gets better and better and better. So let's jump into number two. Number two is this. Most laundromats right now are run by mom and pop owners. What that means basically is most owners own one, two, three, four, five laundromats. There's not a whole lot of laundromat owners that own a, a huge chain of laundromats. There's not really any laundromat chains out there. And what that means is that the laundromat industry, similar to real estate, but probably even more so than real estate, is an inefficient market which means that the valuations can kind of be all over the map, which means that the different owner operators run them differently. And a lot of times there's margins in there where you can come in and see where an owner might be able to run the laundromat a little bit better and, and get more cash flow. So it's an inefficient market, which means that there is room in there to get more cash flow. And as you'll see in number three, because it's an inefficient market, you can build equity into your laundromat from the get-go to add to your net worth and to add to your cash flow. And the way that you do that with a laundromat is uh, the way that they're valued is laundromats are valued at around 3.5 to 4.5 times the net operating income of your laundromat, which is all the money it brings in minus all your expenses except for any loans. Uh, that's your net operating income. And you can multiply that by 3.5 to 4.5, and that's what you can expect to pay for a laundromat. Uh, that means, let's just take four times net operating income as an example. Let's say you put new equipment in your store, and all of a sudden you're bringing in $1,000 more a month, which is $12,000 a year. Well, times that by four, and all of a sudden you've built almost $50,000 of equity right like that. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. So not only are you cash flowing 20 to 30% on your money, maybe you find one because it's an inefficient market where you can build in some equity and extra cash flow. Already you can see how this is starting to build and build and build. That 20 to 30% of your money where you bought it right off the bat is all of a sudden starting to grow because if you add in the equity that you're building and the increased cash flow by improving operations, well, that number is getting higher and higher. But, you know, like anything else, as soon as you're making money, who wants a piece of that? 
Uncle Sam, right? I know what you're thinking. But that leads us to number four. And I'm gonna preface number four by saying, hey, I'm not a CPA, I'm not a lawyer, and I strongly suggest that before you make a purchase on a laundromat, consult with a lawyer, consult with the CPA, um, and they'll help you decide how to do this based on your location and your individual status. So this is not advice at all. I'll just talk about my experience. My experience with owning a laundromat is, and, and, and taxes, um, cause the number four reason is that it is a tax advantage business. And, and there's a couple reasons for that. The first one is this, your, your nine to five job, and the way that taxes work with that is a little bit different than the way that taxes work with businesses. And here's a very simplistic way of understanding it. When you work your nine to five job, before you get your paycheck, the government taxes your paycheck, takes that out before you even see it. You get whatever's left over and then you take that, put it in your bank and use that money to pay your expenses. Well, for a business, it's a little bit different. The way it works for a business is that you have money that comes in. People use your laundromat, your money comes in, use that money to pay your expenses. And then whatever's left over after that, that's what you're paying taxes on. And you can really use that to your advantage. Uh, and again, consult your CPA um, for that, but that is an awesome advantage. Um, the second way that I've been able to do it, uh, to use laundromats to my advantage tax-wise, is that when I have machines that I've put in my stores, because that's what you're buying when you're buying a laundromat, is you're buying a lease or a mortgage if you have the real estate, and you're buying machines. Well, those machines, you can depreciate those over time, which basically says, hey, my machines, you know, I paid $100,000 for these machines, and every year they're worth a little bit less because they're used more and more and more. And the government says, okay, well, you know, let's say your machines are worth $10,000 less uh, year two than they were year one. Well, it says, okay, well, let's take that 10000 hypothetical $10,000, and you can write that off of your taxes as if you never even got that $10,000. That's pretty incredible. So you're not paying taxes on that extra $10,000 that you normally would be paying taxes on. So again, not a CPA talk to one, but there are many tax advantages to owning a laundromat. And all of a sudden you can see how that starts to increase your return on your investment more and more and more. And you should be starting to get pretty excited right now because we're only at number four and your 20 to 30% ROI got to bump up because it's an inefficient market. You might be able to find one where you can increase the business, which increases your cash flow, which also increases the value of your uh, laundromat, which increases your equity, and you're paying less in taxes, which increases your cash flow even further. Exciting stuff, but that's only number four. So let's jump in to number five. Number five is this, laundromats are simple business. They're very simple. It's an all cash business. So people are coming with cash. You're not going around chasing people to try to get them to pay their invoices. You're not dealing with checks that are bouncing. You're not, it, none of that stuff. It's simple. And people are paying upfront from the get go. They come in with their quarters, they put the quarters in the machine or their cards or whatever, however they're paying at your laundromat. They put them in the machine from the get go. And only after they do that, then they get to use your laundromat. So they're paying up front. You're not chasing anybody down and they're paying cash by and large. Um, there are some card stores, but it's still awesome. And there are a lot of benefits to card stores too. We'll talk about those in a later episode. But uh, it's really simple. So that means a lot of that work of trying to chase down people to pay their invoices, of trying to figure, deal with the bank and bounce checks and people trying to rip you off that way. Uh, you don't have to deal with any of that, which makes everything so much simpler. Number six is this, the laundromat industry is a self-service business. People pay you to do their own work. That's genius. I wish I could be in more businesses like this. I don't know why more businesses aren't like this. Well, I guess some are moving that way. Fast food restaurants are putting in kiosks in there stores so you have to do your own orders a little bit um, but 
Laundromats, people are paying you by and large, you might have a fluff and fold service, but by and large, the majority of your business is gonna be people paying you to do their own work. That's awesome. That is genius. And that keeps things very, very simple for you. Um, and to me, the simplicity of laundromats is almost as, as valuable as the, the return uh, on investment that I get. Because if you watched my very first episode where I was introducing myself and telling why I got into the laundromat industry, <clears throat> the idea behind why I got in was because I wanted to bring in a little bit of money without having to be present and, and away from my family all the time. I have growing kids that I want to be hanging out with. I want to be spending my time doing things that I love to do, uh, things like this, and helping other people uh, find their dreams through laundromat ownership. And, and so the simplicity of laundromats where it's a self-service business it's a cash business very simple is almost if not as valuable as the returns that i get from laundromats man high returns uh, very simple business makes laundromats very very powerful investment in my in my view number seven is this there is plenty of financing available for the laundromat uh to buy a laundromat and there's a few different ways that you can get these things financed. We'll do an entire episode on ways to finance them. But two of the main ones are, number one, the distributors of the machines are often, uh, they're trying to sell machines to you. And so they're incentivized to uh, bring out lucrative ways for you to purchase laundromats. And so a lot of times they'll do really good deals on financing, uh, even a lot of times up to 100% financing on your equipment, which is incredible. And you have to uh, usually have to have some experience uh, in running a business or a laundromat. And if you don't, that doesn't mean you can't get that. But maybe you need to partner with somebody for the first one or something like that. Um, but there are ways to get it. Um, sometimes you can just kind of talk to them and convince them, hey, I can run this business. Uh, you know, let's make a deal here. Um, so the distributors are a great source of financing. Another really great source of financing is that because a lot of these laundromats are mom and pop businesses, uh, the owners, a lot of times when they're ready to sell, they'll finance a uh, part or all of your laundromat for you. And so instead of paying a bank or a financing company, you just make checks out to the owner and send it to them every month. And a lot of times it's better for them because they don't have to pay a lump sum tax on whatever money that comes in. So don't be afraid to ask for owner financing when you're looking at a, a laundromat deal. That's awesome. Um, also, you can get them laundromats and equipment for free all in one package. And again, a lot of times you need uh, experience to be able to do this. Um, and there are some shady ways to do that out there, but there are some great ways to do that out there too. So we'll talk about that in another future episode too. So look forward to that. How to get one for free. Number eight. Multiple streams of income. Now, obviously the bulk of your income is gonna come in from the self-service wash and dry business that you get. However, there are lots of different ways that you can bring in income with your laundromat. For example, you may offer a wash, dry, and fold service where people bring in their dirty laundry, you wash it for them, dry it, fold it up, and send it back. <laughs> send it back out to them. You can have an ATM where you take fees from the ATM machine. You can have toy vending. You can have snack vending, soda vending, soap and detergent vending. Uh, you can have an arcade. Uh, you can have those little claw machines. I have this little horse in mind where kids ride the little horse and they pay a quarter. They love it. Um, I have a coffee and a uh, hot chocolate vending machine. I have a massage chair in one of mine. There are tons of different ways that you can make money. In fact, even the bathrooms have a little quarter uh, thing on them. So when people need to use the restroom, that helps cover the bathroom costs. Uh, I have a billboard on the side of one of my buildings that I get some income from. In fact, I have an agency that comes in and puts advertisements on the inside of my building and I get money from that. So there are lots of different ways to bring in extra money um, besides just the standard self-service wash and dry business that you get. Um, and remember that for every $1 that you bring in of net income, that increases the value of your business by $3.50 to $4.50. So all these little things add up to not only bring you more cash flow, 
but also to increase the value of your business, building equity and putting that money in your net worth pocket. Number nine, and again, this is one of the reasons why laundromats is so lucrative, is that it can be a passive or at least a side gig business. And being able to do this, get this kind of cash flow by working 10 or 15 hours a week on the side or even partnering up with someone or paying a management company to come in and manage your laundromat for you and really decrease the time that you need to put into it is uh, it just makes it far and away better than any other investment that I know. Now, obviously, no investment, I'm convinced, is a totally entirely passive investment. However, laundromats can really genuinely be done on the side and relatively passively if you set it up correctly. And we'll show you how to do all of that here. Uh, okay, look, the first nine things that we've talked about today are all amazing. Uh, they should be convincing in and of themselves, but it's number 10 that really, really starts to show you just how powerful laundromats can be in building your wealth. And that's right. I said all these other things, the high cash flow, the tax advantages, the availability of financing, the simplicity of the business, the ability to build in extra cash flow and equity in the business by increasing the performance of your laundromat. All those things are amazing. And again, like I said, they should convince you in and of themselves that laundromats are one of the best, if not the best investment you could make out there. However, it's number 10 where things start to get really, really interesting and really, really powerful. And I'll tell you two ways the way that works right now. So it's this, if you can use your laundromat to help you acquire the real estate that your laundromat is on, this will give you an ability to really, really skyrocket your net worth. And let me tell you how this works. It's two main ways. The first is this, when you own a laundromat and you're leasing the space, obviously you are taking each month a chunk of your money that you're making and you are paying it to the landlord and they're putting it in their pocket. Now, this is really powerful when you own the laundromat, you are paying rent to your property, which you own from your business. And that money is either going to pay down your mortgage and maybe some of it's going in your pocket or if you don't have a loan on your property, it's going right into your pocket and that's great. And that really helps build some wealth, but that is a drop in the bucket compared to the second way that owning the real estate can really help you accelerate your business. Uh, the next two episodes, I'm gonna go over how it is that owning the real estate with your laundromat can really explode your net worth. Um, but here's a little teaser for you. It has to do with arbitraging the value of the business and the value of the property. And basically what that means is taking this $1 that you make over here and transferring it to your real estate at a higher rate. And we'll talk about how to do that in the next couple of episodes. I'm telling you, it has allowed me to double, literally double the value of my property here in Southern California that I bought with my laundromat by doing this strategy. You are not gonna wanna miss it because literally this can accelerate your net worth, build wealth, and set you on your way to financial freedom. So stay tuned, check out the next two episodes because they're really gonna lay it out. I'll lay it out real, real clear for you and even give you some, some tools to help you really be able to do this on your own. So stay tuned, but like I said, those first nine reasons, nine and a half reasons should be plenty of reason enough for you to start looking into the laundromat business. And we're going to go through step by step how you go about finding a laundromat to buy, how you analyze laundromats to determine whether they're a good deal or not, how you go through the process of actually buying your laundromat. And then once you get those keys and you look around and it's just you holding the keys, what you do to actually run your laundromat, how you can improve the business and put that money in your pocket and hopefully set you on the path to financial freedom, financial independence, and ultimately the life that you're hoping to live through laundromat ownership. I hope you're as excited as I am. I'm super excited. I can't wait for this journey. Again, I would love it if you would just hit a like, uh, hit that like button. If you would make a comment, if you have questions, ask those questions. I have a ton of things that I want to go over with you guys. Uh, for the next uh, forever, but I really want to go over the things that you guys want to hear about. So if you have questions that you'd like me to answer, put those down below and I will get to every single one of them, I promise. And uh, again, I'm very excited about this. 
I am hoping to use laundromats to set myself up to where I don't have to work anymore if I don't want to. And I want to help you do the same thing. Now, just be excited about that. If you know of anyone else who's interested in laundromat ownership, uh, feel free to pass this along to them. And again, uh, if you have questions, ask me the questions um, or check out laundromatresource.com and sign up or our Facebook page. Uh, facebook.com slash laundromat resource and sign up for a free 15 minute coaching call with me uh, just you and me and you can ask me all the questions you have and I would love to meet you too all right looking forward to the next episode the next two episodes really they're gonna blow your mind get excited we'll see you again soon again this is Jordan from laundromatresource.com can't wait to get to know you better see ya